what's going on guys welcome back uh yeah part three to tell law <laughs> let's go now went ahead and did us all a favor you know snoop through the video a little bit i hired a private investigator smartest thing you could have done i have one particular <sighs> woman that we uncovered her name is uh you understand exactly what you told that girl you messed I with my head you know what he tells me i need the green card the we the just landed you know, we process. just landed so how many Facebook accounts do you have? That chart? That chart? That's a lot of people. She's 36 or so. I, they you asked me questions. Are talking to Cheetah or f Tarzan? Okay, hold on to a second. Okay, Angela. I We're going to go on facts here. F opinions. Bring it on. He's such a liar. And outside the whole P.I. Angela and Michael situation, and maybe, maybe Rob and Sophie's part. Everybody else? Uh, yeah, everybody else can catch an L. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Brr, 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 brr. Finger game strong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna skip them. Yep, skip them boys like hopscotch. Now, with that being said, if for any idiotic reason you want that version of the video, I do have it on consignment at your local Target. Rebranded under the name, uh, Nightquil. 10X. So, uh, yeah, let me know how that goes. Otherwise, uh, yeah, lots to say. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Angela. The relationship hasn't been good since he landed here in the States. Why? He doesn't appreciate nothing I do, Sean. I goddamn hate Botox. I do that not because I want to be young like y'all think, because I don't want him walking around with a smoking ass wrinkled woman. Hold up. Wait a minute. You mean it's worse? Bruh. Ow. Smoking ass wrinkled woman. Considering what I said in my last video, now this is a crazy fact that I just found out. Because if you're younger like me, sometimes it's hard to imagine what you're supposed to look like at 58. But apparently, you're not supposed to look like Angela. Because <laughs> this is Sean. And she is 62. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Something ain't right. Bruh. Bruh. That's crazy. She needs to get a refund on that Botox. Sis, you gotta drop that skincare routine into a volcano, into a crypt. Yo, lock that boy up. Ma make it a treasure hunt. This needs to be studied because that's crazy. Call, call NASA or somebody. <laughs> and for him to think that I'm just a bitch about a cheating incident, you understand exactly what you told that girl. You messed I, with uh, my head. What else do you want me to do? You keep talking I about the same thing over and over. You have over. a lying problem. What lie did I lie again? All the time. What, oh, what did you I lie, lie again? all the time, Michael. And then you stick with that lie and think if I say it enough, everybody's going to believe it. First and foremost, I just want to say, man, what's awareness? All the time. Off the charts. Like, that boy has 99 awareness. Give that boy a skill cake. Although, personally, I probably wouldn't grab that tissue from Angela. They got her snot, saliva, aging cream. Like, if you're not trying to look like Joe Biden in two days, you got to weave, baby. Hit him with the... Yeah, just like that. Second of all, I'm gonna have to discredit Skylar's opinion. She's already getting one-sided stories from Angela. And of course, she's the daughter, so... There's just too many biases. If it was true, you won't, I won't be right here, right now. Yeah, sure I won't be right, right here. You know what he tells me? I need the green card. The we just landed. You know my we just landed. So the problems, Angela, have not... They didn't start when he got here. Obviously, they were the same problems you were dealing with before. I had an instinct not to bring him when I found all this stuff in Abidjan. Well, then why would you bring him here? Why would you do that? Big Ed, I'm gonna need you to lower your tone about five steps. Uh, otherwise, he has a good point. Like, you can't blame this man for being a scammer, a con artist, when you had control of the whole process for seven years. Seven flipping years. Like, at some point, even if he was a scammer, it's not even scamming anymore. Uh, you're just stupid. <laughs> You brought it upon yourself. Now, even though I'm not a fan of Angela, she still can be funny. You know what he tells me? I need the green card. No, we just because landed. You know my we just landed. Oh, we just landed. We just landed. <laughs> the answers to your question, Ed, is she found out the line about the chats, the piggy bank, all that. And right when she found out about that, that carried over here and it hasn't been resolved yet he don't talk about it he just rolls his eyes and throws his head uh. out yeah because he already cleared his name he already tried to explain it like twice tell me what you see I'm telling and you i will now. explain everything angie i know i know you might not understand it but let me just break it out to you uh. see, anything he tries to tell them they don't even believe him so they keep asking so at some point he's just like what what more do you want and that's when they go oh 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 see see there you go you see that sean Hiding again. He doesn't say a doggone thing. All he does is throws his eyes and throws his head off. And even some of the cast chimed in, like, oh, the whole chat's off? Yeah, that's that's pretty normal. Like, we we all do it. I was in a in a group chat like him. You were in a group chat? Yeah. Has anybody done that before? Yeah, it like it's a group to help. Like if we had a question about the process, I'd be like, hey, what do I do on this section? Yeah. How I do that. Yeah. Mm. Although I will say, I won't lie, the, the title called Paradise Man. Paradise Man? Let's check this mother. 
Oh, yeah, that's diabolical. <laughs> that, that's crazy. Couldn't be me. <laughs> no, couldn't be me. Angela, would you like to tell Michael who you hired? I hired a private investigator. Smartest thing you could have done. I want the private detective to prove that I'm wrong. I want it to be wrong. I want to be so wrong. He has no idea. You guys need to know. I mean, this is a living hell. Please welcome Angela's private investigator, Todd. So they brought the man out, you know, Mr. It don't matter if he's from Jupiter, Mars, or the seven seas. We're going to spec out his whole life. Look under every rock, every crevice. It's not even hide and seek when it comes to us. It's just seek and destroy ah. that dude, right? And I'll do a complete dark web, gray web, and surface web search. A network that's got a long reach all the way around the world. I've got people over in Nigeria, and it doesn't matter if it's been deleted. If it has ever touched the internet, we'll be able to track that. Ah. And mind you, I'm already hyped. And he was selling the shit out of this. He was selling it like a dumb. WWE promo. He, he could sell water to a fish at this point. All right, Todd, tell us about your findings. After an exhausted study of you, look, I've got a 189 page report. Almost every single thing that's ever been mentioned about you on the internet. It took a staff of about five investigators to dig all the information up that we have. There seemed to be some indiscretions here from what I've learned in, the, in his past. You know, I heard the indiscretion. I was like, oh, they got him. <laughs> they got my boy. <laughs> 1414, man down, man down, man is in big trouble. Ch copy that? Like, I heard five investigators, and the way he was selling it, I I'm thinking they could probably find Atlantis tomorrow. And mind you, Michael's shaking in his boots right now. I mean, they literally had five men in black scoping the world looking for any speck of dirt on this man. I could have been scratching my booty at a Whataburger three years ago, and now they're gonna twist that up like I'm a freak show. <laughs> like, yeah, I I'll be shaking in my boots too. So the PI starts off with baiting him. Michael, if there's anything you want to tell us, any crimes you want to admit to before I share, with everybody who's we'll in these 180 pages right here. You hear that? 180. Every 180 of them. Now would be the time, Sean. Now would be the time. If there's anything that, that you want to disclose, now would be a great time to do that, okay? No, no. So how many Facebook accounts do you have? Oh my God. I only have one, which my wife controls. I show that you have three Instagram accounts. You mother People imitates me. The only social media I have is the Facebook and it's on our phone. You know what's crazy though? There was a point in time where Angela didn't allow Michael to have a social media. Period. And you would see all these fake accounts come up pretending to be Michael knowing there's not an official account. And half the time it was Angela running these accounts. Who the fuck are you? Get off my Instagram. I love my wife Angela Deem with my whole heart. I only want my wife Angela Deem. We're celebrities, so fuck you. Sipping sauce, how about you sip freedom, motherfucker? This is Michael, by the way. All that to say, it's crazy to see her act surprised as if she didn't know that's what it was. I show that you have three Instagram accounts. You mother so I know, I don't know why, but his side profile reminds me of a turtle. Also, so I know, I don't think Big Ed could turn his head like this. Uh, I've heard there's been mention about a female by the name of Cheetah. He's his girlfriend over there. The cheetah, the lady was in the one of the visa process I was. And the reason why she privately chatted me was because her mother was in was applying Never for a K-1 visa. He didn't it? see this is something new to me, Todd. Can that ain't I what he told us, is it? So and she dm me, I say, oh, thank you very much, you know. That is it. But I, they asked me questions. But you ain't supposed to be talking to Cheetah or Tarzan. Mind you, this is the same woman that said no social media, no talking to Cheetah or flipping Tarzan. But a year ago, she was mostly cheating, doing TikTok dances with Billy Nye, the, the stripper guy. Remember this one? Oh my God, yes. He used to be, in the 80s, a male stripper. <laughs> I want to ask you something. It's kind of awkward because I don't know how you feel about this. I feel like we haven't met. What do you think about me coming to Canada? Ah. This whole time, Michael's like, see, anytime I try to explain something, they don't even let me talk. He's such a liar. Bring it on. Michael has got a way to make even you believe him. Everybody can believe what your opinion, for Christ's sake. We're going to go on facts then. Opinion. Yeah, so let's get to the facts, because this whole time, this PI has yet to say Jack Sparrow doo-doo squat. Like, where are the findings, bruh? It's to the point where I'm starting to believe there is a scammer on the podium, and it's not Michael. It's this turtle-ass man right here. <laughs> not only does he look like a turtle, he gets to the point as fast as one. Never. Have you found anything in your investigation of Michael that leads you to believe he has been unfaithful? I have a chart of all of his connections, his social connections, oh. and under. Angela, I think if he was cheating or scamming, it would be very easy yeah. to just yeah. say that. You don't know a 
Nigeria. I'm, like I'm just, I'm just waiting. Does. That chart, does. that chart, that's a lot of people. And if there's not somebody on that chart right there that pops out like, oh yeah. Yeah, and the only person girl. he explained is a friend. You see what I mean? That was a straight question. Todd, have you found anything in your investigation that shows you that Michael's been on favor? Mm. Well, Sean, I do have this chart right here that shows all his social connections. Brother, are you on drugs? I didn't ask for the Targaryen bloodline chart. I didn't ask for the BK101 standard deviation bell curve chart. We don't care if he called his mom at 2 a.m. on a Thursday. We just want to know, is he cheated or is he scamming, Todd? <laughs> Get to the point. Like, what is this man on, bro? Is he lying or is not? Is he a scam or not? Now, Rob was like, you, you see that, Angela? They got all these people right here. Nothing's even showing up as a red flag. And Jazz was like, yeah, like the only person they got was his friend. Jazz, I, I, can I pop I know your people... bubble? I'm getting ready to freak you to out. You know, get the girl, away wait, wait, from listen, me. Listen, it's friendly. No. Do you know the girl he was cheating with? How about she was trying to get a hold of Gino? I didn't want to say that. She was trying to get you. I got facts of it. He didn't answer her. But the same one that cheated talked. with Michael. She was after this Black one. Girl. And Michael Black girl. And, my, and listen, Jazz, Michael fell for it. Gino did. You know what's crazy? Like, how does Gino make this face on command? You know, that seems like a lot of work. I don't know. But anyway, since our PI here is doing ring around the rosy with the questions, you start to see the cast slowly realize, hey, maybe Michael ain't really done none. And Angela, realizing this, starts to act out, you know, trying to get people back on her side. Do you know the girl he was cheating with? How about she was trying to get a hold of Gino? I didn't want to say that. And yet, this whole time, we have yet to get any substantial facts. So Sean, once again, asks his man Todd the exact same questions. Does anything tell you that Michael is cheating on Angela in any way? I've got 160 pages of reports. To answer your question directly, no. This man spent 30 minutes doing Ring Around the Rosie just to say no. No. Thank God he said it. I was about to say, yo, somebody pull a BB gun to his head right now. Answer the flipping question, Todd. Three, two, one. No. But no, so everybody's shocked. Hell, I was shocked. <laughs> I was thinking, hey, Michael at least got some side pieces. You know, like, if your main dish is terrible, at least you can counteract that with a couple side dishes. Ah. At least that's what Rob would say. Uh, but, but no, they found nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. And remember what Angela said. I want the private detector to prove that I'm wrong. I want it to be wrong. I want to be so wrong. He has no idea. No. Good. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. I don't care. She I don't care. It. You shut up. What did you do? Do something with it. I have. I have. We're going home. Y'all. Y'all enjoy. I don't care what y'all think about me because I know the real mother. But he's not better than the private investigator. Trying to tell though. tell the private Michael, investigator you, you know more than him now. You right? shut the but Angela, that's your opinion. What happened to uh, basing it off the facts? We're gonna go on facts then. Opinion. But no, so Angela walks off with her tail between her legs because she got caught looking stupid. And Ashley decided to ask Todd to clarify, you know, you said no to the cheating, but what about the scamming? Out of all that paperwork that you brought here with you today, did you find anything at all to make you suspect that Michael is scamming Angela? Now, I don't know if TLC is paying this man by the minute, but here goes Todd talking in circles just to get to a point. Skyla, you've met me. We talked, right? That's a lot of work. That's a lot of digging. That's pretty much his life that I've been able to uncover. I don't have anything. So the PI basically said, nope, uh, we didn't find a speck of nothing. Absolutely nothing. And trust me, TLC probably hired this man and did everything they could to find something. Like, you know the ratings this show would be if they found anything? Ooh. But even so, Scarlet here, Miss I only got one side of the story, and half the stories were made up. To the point where if Michael's phone came with stock photos of a woman smiling, Angela would somehow turn that out to be his wife of 20 years. But even so, Skylar is dying on this cross of being a hater. Y'all gotta understand, he's already cheated. He's constantly lies about this and that. I don't know what happens at home, but I do know that She's what we can't do is continue to act like he's scamming her. I still think she need to leave him. There's, there's no... <clears throat> there's no intimacy, there's no check, there's no relationship there. So rumor has it, the only reason Skylar's getting any screen time is because they want her to appear on The Single Life. And the only way that makes sense to me is because they want Angela to make more appearances. Because otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't see it because Skylar has a personality of a cardboard. Either way though, uh, I'm not watching it. <laughs> but you know you're crazy when even the PI dude, the dude they hire is sitting there like, 
y'all might be crazy. I don't see any reason why Angela should be suspicious of Michael or his behavior. Concern that I have is how adamant she is about wanting to find a lie or something wrong in the report. It's almost like she's not willing to accept the truth. I'm going to send his ass home. Now mind you, Angela walks off, right? And these two disappear for the rest of the episode. And a half, like they didn't come back until the midpoint of the most recent episode. I left the studio yesterday. We didn't go to the mansion because we have issues to sort out. And I kid you not, Angela walks back in on this most recent episode and starts playing victim. So glad you all came back. It's very hard for me, son. I'm not a crier, but I'm to the point where I'm broken, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying, but I bet you Michael does. He's been broken for seven years. But I'm to the point where I'm broken, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to go ahead and give Kobe his props. Because he didn't let her breathe for two minutes. No, he was like, back in the frying pan, you go, you witch. Angela, you've always disrespected your husband in public, every single place. Okay. To the level that even a fly cannot respect him. Okay, well, and that's your just... opinion. See how you're not taking up for me? Tell Kobe, him to hush. I don't want to fight with nobody. Worry, I just no, want to no, be no, here. No, I'm not going to sit here and act as if this is not something that has been going on and on. I Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. I don't care. Please, Kobe. Okay. You know, the funniest thing about this is the minute Kobe starts talking, Michael's like, oh, Lord, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> because he knows at the end of the day, he's going to be the one, you know, taking the, the brute doo-doo end of all of this. See how you're not taking up for me? Tell Kobe. him to hush. Because Angela is going to redirect all this negative energy back onto Michael as if he's been whispering in their ear. When, when in reality, he is the jack shit. <laughs> did miss the part where the private investigator said he did not find one single thing on Michael, and this was the private investigator that you hired. He's not scamming you, and I think that's really good. But listen, he only had two weeks to investigate. I don't know his social medias that he had behind my back. Yeah, so Angela's not trying to hear from nobody. She's already making up fake social media pages in her head that Michael has as we speak. Now, we did get a little preview of the final episode coming this Sunday of her and Kobe going at it again. You can tell him to shut his mouth. Hey, all this tells me she's not afraid to get physical with men. So who's to say worse things don't happen at home when the cameras are off? And just in case Angela tries to drop a lawsuit on me, this is not a fact. This is an opinion. We're going to go on facts and opinion. Now speaking on that, in his most recent post, Michael has informed us that he's now getting sued by Angela, which I'm not really surprised. I feel like we all saw this coming. Needless to say, she's suing in front of Nolman and uh, he dropped the GoFundMe for his legal fees. Sorry for coming out this way. I took me a lot to to post the, the GoFundMe link on my page because I'm not that kind of person, but the situation I am now is beyond me and um, I really need a support and um, I appreciate each and every one. Now, I don't know how much ground she has for this annulment. You know, annulment cases are pretty hard to win. With that being said, in the slight off chance, you know, she does win the annulment, there is a case for deportation. Now, me personally, I'm not the type to donate money to TV stars. And 25K seems a bit steep. I don't exactly know where all this money is going to. So I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you or tell you you need to donate money to Michael's case. That's really your own discretion. But for me, I definitely did. <laughs> not even so much for Michael's case, but for my own happiness. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Like nothing brings me more joy than to see Angela take L's. And for me, you know, a couple bucks ain't gonna hurt my pockets, but it's gonna hurt her pockets defending this case. And you see, Michael raised well over the asking price within three days. So, hey, good for him. <laughs> All I'm saying is I donated money just to piss you off, Angela. <laughs> and I really only got one thing to say to you. Checkmate, bitch. <laughs> but hey, what do you want to know? I'm just sitting <laughs>